the opportunity to work as our night guard for Marcus Robotics Incorporated. It's a bit run down right now, as cleaning isn't really our number one priority, as barely anyone from maintenance shows up when we report the problems to them. Neither is safety. This is all but new to us. Don't think that matters as of right now, but I want, I want to keep this short. Your task for the final week is to keep a track on our newly developed androids, or as we call them robots, and repair them systems throughout the building with your magic panel. I've been told by management to leave you this message with the instructions on how to deal with the robots in the event that they malfunction as they tend to do that. You'll only be doing this for about a week. After that, you'll just go on with your regular day shifts like before, so there's nothing to be worried about, really. There is a probability, however, that you'll get a nice bonus if you manage to get through with it. Anyways, first things first. Management panel is located right behind you. You just gotta flip it up to open, and you'll be met with two systems. The shocks and task board. The task board is how your shift's gonna be each night. Uh, you'll have to finish all the tasks listed, and after that your shift should be over. The shock system, on the other hand, is only to be used in emergencies. We install them to keep the androids away from entering the security office due to the concern of them destroying our equipment. It's pretty expensive. You'll have the option to activate the shocks for either the vent or the hallway outside your office. Now, to the androids, or robots if you're a bird. The ones with the legs is called Marcus. He'll wander around and probably end up outside your office. He's pretty hard to spot, though, so I suggest you use your cameras to track him down. If you're not able to spot him anywhere, then he's probably on a blind spot from our cameras, presumably outside of your office. The next one up is a tall green one. He's pretty easy to spot as well, obviously, because he's tall. And since he isn't really able to fit through vents, he'll only come from outside your office, which is like Marcus. The gray one to the next Marcus, however, is known for crawling through vents all the time. He usually takes different vent paths to your office, so he might end up either right above you or outside of your office. If he's right above you, just flash your light on him several times until he leaves. If he's not out there, then simply use the vent shock and he'll probably get out of there. I know it's a bit overwhelming judging by how much I've just said in this message, but it's pretty simple. I think that covers it. Just try to take my word, memorize all of it, and you'll be fine. Uh, this is a voice message, so I don't recommend you uh, give a reply because we're not really going to answer it. So, uh, yeah, good luck on your shift. <laughs>